Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome back to the Gangsta Chef's Test Kitchen, where I teach you how to fall in love with yourself in your own damn kitchen while you're making something new that you ain't never made before. Now, today, I'm going to teach you how to make pesto. Ooh, that's right. Homemade pesto in your own damn kitchen. Y'all ready? Let's make some pesto. Okay, y'all, so these are the ingredients you're gonna use. And I'm using this only because I had it. And some of the ingredients that's in here is gonna be great because I'm gonna make another dish and I'm gonna show you later. So I'm using my very own lovely garlic infused olive oil. Pine nuts, y'all, pine nuts, garlic, real Parmesan cheese, basil, and parsley. That's it. Now listen, it, I'm gonna come back, I'll tell you, but parsley, basil, garlic, pine nuts, Parmesan cheese, and if you have some of that in your house, and some olive oil or some gangster oil. Okay, yeah, so make sure you wash your uh, vegetables. Make sure, just check your, your water and make sure, let me show you. Make sure that your water, after you've cleaned it and put it in water, that your water is actually clean at the end, okay? Same with the basil. And let's dry it off. All right, y'all. Lay it out on a paper towel and you wanna roll your vegetables in it because you want it to be dry. You don't wanna have any water in here because you want your pesto to be just oil and vegetables, okay? So now I'm gonna do this two times with both of them so that the towel, the paper towel ends up being dry on the last run, okay? All right, y'all, you see my paper towel is now dry, okay? And you wanna look at your leaves and you can feel them and you can see that there's no extra water on here, okay? Okay. Same with the basil. Now with the basil, um, and here's the other thing, you want all these stems, okay? But go through your leaves and make sure that there's no bugs lurking because you know the bugs like to, when you're getting um, bay leaf, uh, basil that's live, um, a lot of times there'll be bugs lurking. Okay, so if you have time, just go through there. This is the part where you start falling in love with yourself in your own damn kitchen. You know what's in your pesto. And you can, once you do it, you put it in the refrigerator and keep it and make other dishes, okay? Y'all see that? Oh shit, was I showing you? Okay. <laughs> beep beep, okay. Okay guys, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to put my garlic. Now, depending on how much you're gonna make and my pine nuts and then my oil, you gotta gauge it yourself, people. Okay. Um, you want enough oil, and I suggest y'all get a, uh, just cause it's the test kitchen, get a spoon or something to do it a little bit better than I did. And those paper towels that you used, save them so you can use them for later, okay? All right, so let's blend this together. Can y'all see that? So beautiful. Can y'all see that? Awesome. All right. Okay, so now we're gonna put our herbs in. Parsley, basil, and you wanna add a little salt and some pepper if you wanna give it a little flavor. Cause y'all know I need to have some flavor. Okay, all right, we'll mix this for a second just to get it. So now when you open it up, get a spatula and let's get it off the sides, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna use two tablespoons of the Romano and Parmesan, and then I'm gonna use 
shredded Parmesan. And then I'm going to, I should have had this shit already. Sorry, y'all. Ugh, bye. I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, so I'm gonna do a couple of pinches. All right, let's add some salt. All right, let's mix it up. Oh, this looks amazing. Now listen, if it looks dry, guys, add some some um, more oil to it, okay? I'm gonna add one of my oils that's already that's infused with peppers, but it's not hot. So it's an olive oil infused. Amazing. All right, y'all, hold on. I'm gonna show it to you. Mm. I want to make sure that everything is grounded up and mixed up together because I see some um, parsley still, um, some leaves still um, floating around up in there. Oh, you need to come on up in here. Let's add some more. I want a little more green. How about that? Why not? All right, y'all. Look at this. Amazing. Oh, my God. All right, y'all. Oh, Lord. Y'all know. Mm, look at that. Look at how beautiful that is. Y'all see that? All right. I'm eating it. Oh my God. Listen, people. Listen, oh my Lord T. Oh wait, I gotta do one more. I gotta, I didn't do cheese. Gotta do cheese. I'll be right back. Cheese. Pesto cheese. Cheese, gangsta pesto. Listen, I'm gonna tell y'all, when y'all make this in your house or you buy it from me, make a request, people. You're not gonna buy no more store part. I'm just telling you. It's cheaper, it's better for you. Oh my God. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna eat it again in front of y'all. Cheese. <laughs> And that, using this actually is okay. That's why it's the test kitchen. But the flavor from my oil, I can taste the, the heat. It's very flavorful. Um, oh my God, this is absolutely amazing. So now, thank y'all for watching. Remember, eat right, Lord have mercy. Think right, people, you gotta think right while you're doing this, right? Put everything out your mind and just be with one with yourself in your kitchen if you drink. Y'all, we got to drink right. Just drink right. Drink, drink right. When you do all that, you can't help but feel right. It is the gangster's law. Remember? Go out there and find a mirror. Go in your bathroom. Go in your room somewhere. And when you see yourself, kiss yourself. And know that's a kiss from me to you. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.